so here we are, uh, ready to board the Catalina Express. There's everyone waiting in the shade. And we're just looking and waiting to board that Catalina Express behind us. And we're gonna head off to Two Harbors in a little bit. We're gonna board in about five minutes or so. So we're just kind of waiting around. How you doing? How you doing? Good, good, good. Yep. All right. There we are. It's the boat we just got off. Cat Express. This guy. All right. Ooh, let's zoom out a little bit here. Nice. All right, these other guys coming up. We gonna go. Distancing. We got our mask on. We are good. All right, so that was our boat. Here we are at Two Harbors, and we got a packed, packed house around here. Look at all these a lot of hikers and campers and stuff, and random tourists and other people. But there is tons here today. It's a beautiful day today, too. Look at this gorgeous weather here. Can't beat that, right? Can't beat that. Alright, so we're gonna go to the we can go into the general store. We got all this food here, lots of backpacker stuff. These mountain house meals and everything. Got all this good stuff, coffee. A little bit of everything here in the general store. Alright, so 12 o'clock noon on Sunday and we ate a burger and a banh mi. Banh mi. And we had a Moscow mule, which is nice. And it's a little warm, but sunny, beautiful day. We have our umbrellas on the side here in case we need it to cover us from all the freaking crazy sun because there's no shade at all on this trail. <laughs> so we're heading our way. We got about five miles for this first day. It's 12 o'clock, so I mean, we get there about 3 or 4 o'clock, 5 at the latest. We're good. Sun sets at 7.30, so we'll have plenty of time to start hanging out let's go. at Shark Harbor once we get there. Yo, let's do it. Nice, right? There's Florence bringing up the rear there a little bit. Just getting a little fresh air. There's a little breeze here at the top of this. A little so look at that. nice ocean behind us. Nice views coming here. It's a pretty nice hike. A lot of sun, a lot of no shade at all. But we knew that because we've done this one before, so 
we knew there wasn't going to be much shade, which is why we brought these umbrellas. So far, they're amazing. Whew. This climb is killer. It's straight uphill. They don't know where switchbacks are on the island. But, I mean, it's not so, not so bad at all, right? Look at the view I got here behind me. And then to the other side. Right, and there's a little person right there. Right there is a person. That's Florence. It's beautiful. But almost at the top of this climb, and then hang out for a little bit, and then keep on going. Down in there is where Little Harbor's at. That's where Shark Harbor and we're going to be camping there for the night. Look at this view. Yeah. Not too bad, right? That's where we just came from, way down there. So we're looking good now. Made it to the next climb, and uh, the ocean is still a few yards that way. It's my view. It's the office view. Sunday morning. I mean, it's okay, I guess. You know, right? If you're into that sort of beautiful nature kind of thing, I guess. I don't know. Some people are right. Lauren's coming up. She's kicking butt. She's doing a great job. It's, it's not an easy hike. You can see there's no switchbacks. It's all straight uphill. Completely exposed. No shade. The uh, umbrella that I have, wherever it is, oh, right there, my umbrella, it's good, but can't use my poles with the umbrella, so I'm going to figure out a way to attach that for my next trip, but uh, at least attach it to my pack, something like right here, like a little clip or something. So far, so good. Having a great time. Here we go, here we go. A couple people coming up, we're going to have a little rest stop here. And then it's all gonna be downhill from there. All downhill from there. Hello. Hi everyone, how we doing? Great. Great, great, awesome. Campers, campers. All right. We're gonna be camping down there tonight. Way over there, I'm gonna point with my umbrella right at that part right there. That's where we're gonna be. It's nice, right, babe? Cool. How you doing? How's your umbrella? <laughs> nice and shady, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this is like the best thing we ever got. Trekking umbrellas. Look at this girl's check right. trekking umbrella. <sighs> nice. 
Not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Whew. Not bad at all. Looks like we're coming up against a hiking party. Oh, so this is where the dance party's at, right, you guys? That's what I heard, so. <laughs> you're not dancing on the hike, are you even hiking? All right, I guess, this is, I guess we're dancing and hiking at the same time. I like that. I like these umbrellas. The umbrellas are amazing. You guys should always get an umbrella for sure. Feels right. Trekking umbrella, amazing. That was fun. That's a good group. Just past these people here. Yeah, oh, it's coming down. Come on, baby. All right. And we are going. You're almost there. I'm gonna go up that hill real quick over there. See what's coming up. All right, so here we come. Final approach now, and this is a, that view is all right, I guess. Not bad. We got Little Harbor, and in the foreground, which is, let me get my finger in here, this is Little Harbor, and in the background, the other part, that's Shark Harbor, that's where we're gonna be staying at. This part's right there. So these are some of the campsites here at Little Harbor, where those palm trees are. We're gonna hang out, maybe get some shade, and then go across to Shark Harbor, that's where we're gonna be staying at. So, not bad, right? How's it over there? Looks good? We are here. Damn, we are mother effing here. Look at this. Look at this. This is our, ho this is our basically our hotel for the night. Not bad. Just gotta go around the trail here and we'll be there. All right, here we are, Little Harbor. Baby, nice. airport bus stop. Yep, there's a bus stop right here and everything. Down here we're gonna hang out for a little bit rest and we're still gonna have to go over to where our campsite is at it's gonna go down this road a little bit and a little trail that heads us on over there but uh, you can see water way over down there we're gonna hang out for a little bit first so my phone died I had to charge a little bit but we're already at camp now you can see here we've got a little restroom restroom here which is pretty dope it's better than porta potties. Porta potties are at Little Harbor, so Truck Harbor has the actual real restaurant, which is kind of nice. But to get to our campsite, we've got to come down here a little bit. And we've got a, I would call this a relatively decent view, or an amazing view. I mean, 
whatever you want to call this. Excuse my language, but it's pretty fucking amazing. It is goddamn amazing view from our hotel that we have tonight. So there's actually only three campsites on this area. We got campsite number one, campsite number two, and then we are here at campsite number three. There's Florence and all our stuff and tent right there. This is where we are at tonight. This is our this is our hotel room for the day. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. go day two we are a little bit above little harbor and shark harbor we were staying at and what's coming up behind we're already it's about 8 45 right now in the morning and about a mile or so and we're gonna be heading on about four more miles up to the uh, airport in the sky we're gonna break there for lunch get a beer and a bison burger and then three miles to blackjack campground we're gonna be safe for the night. So, so far, you can see it's completely all uphill right here. But it's nice. I got some good black metal going on. So. Please move. You're kind of in the way here. 
but you are not a rattlesnake. You're an easy little guard snake. Garden snake or something? Some little tree snake? Yes. Not a rattler though, but my girlfriend will still be shitting herself, so please get out of the way. Well, there's 10 more miles to Avalon. Welcome to the airport in the sky. 3,000 foot runway here. If you ever want to fly out to Catalina Island. Here we are in the back, back patio here of the airport in the sky, the DC3 cafe. So I just ordered some burgers and fries and I got one of these. I'm excited. Oh, that was amazing. Mango cart. This is the most refreshing beer. Two of them. So we just finished eating burger and beer. Now we're on the way to Black Track. Got like two or three miles to go. And we have ice cream to go on the way. Paletas. So good. Mm -hmm. Cheers, babe. Mm. All right, we'll see you at that Campground. So we packed up, everything is gone. We're on day three and we're already on trail. I forgot to give you a tour on the campsite, but I guess that'll have to come on another trip. But uh, anyways, it's about 8.30. We left at about eight o'clock this morning. We woke up about six, had breakfast and coffee and cleaned up camp and everything and did our morning duties, if you know what I mean. And so that was all successful, which is a plus. And uh, we're just going downhill. We've got about five miles to get to Hay Press Recreation Area. We're gonna have a little break there and a little lunch. And then about five and a half more miles after that, we'll be in Avalon. And I really want pizza. I had a burger already. We really want pizza, I think, when we get to Avalon. And a cocktail, of course, but okay. So we'll see you there.
a good view. Here, I'll do a little 360. So you can see what the trail has in store for us today. It's beautiful hills out in the distance. It's kind of it's weird to think we're on Catalina Island, but you know, we're on an island here. It's super nice, super nice. It's sunny, but not too hot. So we're pretty good here. Hey baby, how you doing? Good? Yeah. You ready to finish up? Let's do it, then. Whew. All right, so we've gone a little ways. So I wanted to point a few things out. If you guys look up at this area, there are buffalo on the ridge. Right there, right there. And then there's like these little dots. Those are buffalo. Or not buffalo, they're bison. eventually going to be going up to where that little shelter is that you can see. So there are definitely going to be bison on that little place. Pretty cool, huh? That's where we are. Alright, well, let's go. Alright. Bison tracks. So we take up the hillside. So people and bison. thing is that trail, as you can see, where Florence is at, you can go up there to the little shelter. We'll sit there, have a little drink of water, and then you can see up on the right here, the buffalo actually right there. And then, all over there, there's a little buffalo over there. Let me zoom in a little bit. It looks far away. It's much closer than that. So we just came up that little trail right there. <laughs> and we're gonna have a little shade, right? At the top of this little shade structure that's built, which is kind of cool, right? It's nice. Here. Sorry. Our trail is over this way. But if you look, our trail goes up and then there's like three bison right on the trail. So we're gonna hang out for a little while and wait for them to leave. If they leave, I hope they do. Because, one, oh, there's these two big ones right here. One, two, and this is our trail. So we're gonna wait a little bit and hopefully they leave soon because we can't get too close to them because they're dangerous AF. So it's been about five or ten minutes and these guys, as you can see, they're still just hanging out. This dude is just like, hmm, he was rolling around in the dirt. That guy hasn't even moved a muscle. And there's a couple other friends over here. I and mean, they're just chilling and eating grass. And if you look over here, this is a trail. And that's actually a mile marker right there. That's a nine mile marker for the transplanting the trail. So we got nine miles left to go to get to Avalon. So what we're gonna do instead is thankfully there's a little road here and you can see there's a little trail that kind of goes down there so we are instead of going up there which is where we're supposed to be going we are gonna go down this way to the road and then take the road down and it still is gonna cut through and we'll still get to the hay press area where we're gonna take our break but we'll be road walking instead of trail walking because we don't want to get close to those guys even though they look docile. Look at this dude. Do you see this dude roll? Oh, 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 there he is. Let's see what he's doing. Is he looking at us? No, he's looking at us. Look at that guy. 
That guy got up. That guy stood up too. Maybe they're you. No, look at this. This giant dude. Wow. All right. So let's go down to the road then. Yeah. You ready to do that? Obviously, it's lunchtime now, so I have a wine bread with this cinnamon almond butter on it. It's delicious. Super duper delicious. Anyways, um, so we're here at Hayfresh now. Hanging out with lunch. There's a couple little chairs, there's a bathroom over there. I'm with this little group of other hikers who are just starting today. They're going to Blackjack. There's a little playground area and everything. And so we're hanging out. This is lunchtime. What time is it? Sunshine three. So we had the road 10, walk. 15. Ten fifteen, not bad. I have five miles to go. We have five miles left. We did like three miles on the road. And then right here is where it meets back with the trail. So we're back on the trail now. And we're gonna go. I'm sorry. We're gonna go. Mm -hmm. This road over here. Oh there. Mm -hmm. There. This trail right there. Mm -hmm. I'll go up that. And we'll be in Avalon, play, Avalon pretty soon. Nice, right? Walking, walking, walking. So I found out how to use my trekking pole. Stow and go little attachments here. So it's hard to see if you can see, but it goes to that little loop. And it comes up here to this little loop. And one of my poles here. It's flat. It's flat right now. I only use poles if I'm really going up or going down. Straight and faster going with that one. So, anyways, you can see the our little rest stop in the distance over yonder. Whatever. So, a little bit more, and that's when we're gonna go down, 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 and then we'll eventually be in Avalon. A couple miles down the road now, on the actual trail that's on the road, and now we can see down there our first sight of Avalon right there. Avalon is here. So, first sight of our destination right there. So, we'll be heading down and hopefully getting there soon. You ready to get down there? Oh, yes. Let's do it. Okay, so here we are finally at our last shade structure, last stop. We're refilling on our emergency. A little vitamin C action here. So it's nice, it's like a little shady structure here. I'll take you a little around. That's another trail down that way in a road. We are gonna go this way, down this trail here. That's where we're gonna go. 1.7 miles to the- It says to the Hermit Gulch Campgrounds, 1.7 miles. And then a little bit more down to where the trail is at in, in Avalon. So not too bad. Maybe two or three miles, I would guess. What time is it right now? It is 11.37. 11.37. So yeah, we might get home probably like one o'clock or something. We'll see. And then if we look over here, we can see Avalon right there. Cool. There's Avalon. We're gonna hike it down there, and that's where the pizza and the beer is at. So, can't wait to get there. Peace. All right, so we just came down the hill. We're here at Hermit Gulch Campground, actually. So this is kind of where the Trans Catalina Trail starts. So we're on regular roads now. So, I mean, there might be a little, half a, less than a mile or so until we're actually in the city city. Um, so we're gonna do a little bit more of a road walk here. We're gonna be going down here and we'll be eating food, food soon. Unless we get hit by a car, let's not get, get hit by 
a golf cart. <laughs> We are now finally to the main drag here in Avalon. As you can see, that is where we're at now. Finally, here we are. Nice and pretty. Nice breeze. We're gonna sit down. Someone's calf is hurting over there. We're gonna sit down. Here's some sand. Oh, we're about to go into the sand and sit down. Yeah, let's sit down on this sand. Look at this. We're on a literal beach right now as opposed to sleeping in the <laughs> in the dirt. Look at that casino, all the boats. And we're gonna take a second and rest our feet and then we'll get some of that food. Thank you. 